Hi everyone, this is Raj. In this video, I'm going to talk about layers in Photoshop. This is a very, very important topic, guys. So stick around with me and let's quickly get started with today's video. Well, the first thing I would like to talk about is what is a layer? Well, a layer can be thought of as a layers in a hamburger. Now, this is a very, uh, very a good example which was stated by a uh, by a youtuber i i'm very sorry i i really don't remember the name of the youtuber but he explained this very nicely that uh, layers can be thought of as a layers in a hamburger like at the top you have the bun uh, and on the bottom you you get the uh, chicken layer or uh, meat layer whatever it is then you get the uh, onions then you get the lettuce i'm sorry i if i pronounced it wrongly uh, so those are the layers like uh, one after the other they are stacked one below the other and uh, there is no connection between uh, the uh, the bun and the onion or uh, the the chicken there is no connection between both of them right you can uh, you can surely have the bun first you can take take up take up the bun and you can have it and uh, or you can take out the onions and you can have it separately so there is no connection between both of them right so uh, they are stacked one after the other similarly in photoshop the layers are stacked one after the other and one layer does not have any connection with the other layer but you can uh, surely link those layers but that is a totally different scenario we are talking about layers first let us understand what is a layer over here now at first when you open up photoshop you get to see uh, this background layer right this is also a layer which is locked if you carefully look at uh, the right side of this background layer there is a lock icon which is being shown and this uh, symbolizes that the that this layer is locked whenever you find this lock icon wherever in this in this layer panel we consider that layer to be locked right there is another icon which is the eye eye icon which you can see right over here eye button this is also an a, an important part of the layer right i will explain every single thing uh, in depth just stick around with me right now uh one thing i would like to talk about is if if you don't find this layer panel let's say you are you're not getting this layer panel no need to worry you can go to windows and under this you get this layers option the shortcut is f7 right so this layer panel will pop up okay now you can dock it over here any way you want now let us get deep with the layers layers panel right now here you get the background layer which is locked if you click on this lock icon this background layer will get unlocked and the name background will go away and you are left with a layer zero which is named as layer zero the background layers name has been changed to layer zero now you can do what you can turn on and turn off this eye button and this will take away all the contents of the layer and you will be left with a blank transparent background now there's another thing to note if you see this checkerboard kind of pattern then that layer is considered to be as a transparent layer this is a very uh, you, you can say this is a symbol of uh, trans transparency in uh, photoshop or any other uh, software this checkerboard pattern is considered to be as a as a transparency of layer right this is a this is this layer is right now transparent layer considered to be as a transparent layer now i will talk about transparency in the course of this video stick around okay now let's turn on the i button now this layer is visible now you can again lock the layer by clicking on this lock icon over here it will lock the layer and it will um, you cannot do anything in this layer right now because this layer is locked if you unlock this again you can move around all the items of this layer right let's undo and go back now i will prefer you not to mess around with the background layer but there are conditions where you need to mess around with the background layer but that is not the course of this video at first you need to understand what is a layer so do not mess around with the background layer let's go back let's let's control let, let's undo several times and let's go back and let's delete it right now over here at the bottom right corner you get this paper kind of icon which is uh, folded from uh, the the left side you can see this icon if you click on this this icon it will create a new layer which is named as layer one 
so this is the background layer now to create a new layer as i say to you click on this icon and it will create the layers you can create as many layers as you want you can create infinite layers right and if you want to delete the layers you can select all of the layers now how to select it click on the first layer press the shift button and click on the last layer this will select all the layers in the lot you can drag it and leave it in the bin over here this one right this is the bin icon you can just drop it over here it will delete or you can simply select all the layers and press the delete button from the keyboard it will delete all the layers right now let me create a layer click on this button it will create a layer now let's select the brush tool press B to activate the brush tool and I have already set a foreground and a background color now I'm gonna click once and this will create this blue color now I want to create another yellow color for that I will press X to bring the yellow color in the foreground because the brush will paint with a foreground color it will not paint with the background colors right uh, the foreground color is yellow and I will dab once it will create this yellow color over here now look carefully now I will press V to activate the move tool now what I'm gonna do is let's say I uh, want to move this blue color and I want to uh, place it exactly on top of this yellow color or maybe I'll I just want to move this blue color anywhere right now what what I'll do is click on this blue color and I'll try to drag it see what happens it moves the yellow color as well but I don't want that I I don't want the yellow color to move I just want the yellow color to stay wherever it was but how can I possibly do that I cannot do that because you know why because both of them are in the same layer so we cannot move uh, any particular color or any particular uh, circle over here if we try to move the yellow the blue will move if you try to move the blue the yellow will move because both of them are in the same layer now that is a very big problem we don't want to do that now how to overcome that problem well that's where we take new layers and we separate stuffs in the different layers so that there is no connection between the two layers so if I take a new layer 2 and let's take another layer let's name the layer 2 as yellow and let's name the layer 3 as blue right it's very important to name the layers in or order to organize double click on the layer 1 it will allow you to, to change the names whatever name you can put in and hit enter it will give that name to that particular layer right now uh, this is the yellow layer and this is the blue layer now let's momentarily hide this layer to hide it click on this I button it will hide all the contents of the layer now this layer is still there the, the contents are still there but it's hidden and you cannot even mess around with that that content because that layer is not active right now that is the eye is not on so that means the layer is not active if you again click on the eye it will active the layer and you can do whatever you want with that layer but for now let's close the eyes right uh, now in the yellow layer press the B for activating the brush tool now let's dab once um, it will create the yellow color now instead of painting with blue over here in this yellow layer I will go to the blue layer click it once and I will paint it in the blue layer right now now if I select the move tool now if I want to move the blue color I can surely do that I can move the yellow color separately I can move the blue color separately because both of them are in two different layers we can we can do anything we want right now there is an interesting thing to note let's say I have this yellow color let's say I want to bring this yellow color at the top of this blue but as soon as I, I try to bring it it is going below the blue color right now this is happening because the layer yellow is below the layer blue over here now this is where the hamburger concept is very useful think of the blue color as the bun which is at the top at the top right and yellow as uh, let's say the chicken layer which is at the bottom so if I want to bring the chicken layer on top of the bun what will I do I will just 
grab the chicken take up and leave it and it will come on top of the blue layer right so now the blue layer is at the bottom and yellow layer is at the top if i want to bring the yellow layer again to the bottom so just you know, grab it once drag it and when you see this blue color highlight leave it and it will go at the bottom of the layer blue so now the yellow layer as is at the bottom of the layer blue this is where layers come very handy this is like this you can do a whole lot of different stuffs now this is very sim this is a very simple example which i'm showing you right now but uh, when you will create a composition you you will bring several objects over here you you will have to bring uh, several pictures uh, several effects and all those stuffs you have to do a lot of things and uh, there's that's the that's the place where uh, layers will come very handy you will you will you will be able to put different different effects in different layers different objects in different layers and you will be able to create the composition but think of if there were no layers so you probably will have to erase it and you have to do it several several times now it's not it's not possible right uh, it's very difficult it's only possible for a painter to do that right you you get only one canvas you get no layers you have to paint it on the canvas if you make any mistakes you cannot uh, do anything you have to just uh, either you have to uh, rub that part or maybe you have to uh, paint with white over there and you have to continue your painting but in photoshop it's not required if you if you do if you make any mistake you can just you can just delete it you can just delete the layer and it's very simple that's the reason why we work with layers and that is very 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 important right now uh, one thing to note this is called as a layer thumbnail if you want to increase the size of this thumbnail you can do that as well right click on the thumbnail right uh, and uh, click on this medium thumbnail you can change it to medium thumbnail or you can go for a large thumbnail it will uh, show the layers if you don't want the thumbnails then you can just click on this no thumbnails it will take away the thumbnails right but you don't want that i don't uh, prefer I prefer keeping it to small thumbnails and you can also give uh, colors you can assign colors to the layers as well right click on the thumbnail or the layer right click on the layer over here and you can assign any color let's assign a red color over here and you get this color over here you can assign a different color as well you can assign a blue color and uh, there are several other colors over here in the in the list you can just click on any color it will assign the colors and uh, you can um, use this uh, whenever you want thanks a lot for watching guys if you like the video then hit the like button share it with your friends and do consider subscribing this channel i will meet you in the next one with a brand new content goodbye please tell me that i can't that i won't that i fail that i'll never make it out yeah please tell me all the bad never good fill my head full of every single doubt yeah please say any negative thoughts i pop off when i hear people say i cannot i get off to the thought of proving everyone wrong i won't stop to the top so you better back off again boss I'ma stay loud, stay proud, never running out, never heading south. I'll be spreading out, call it word of mouth, can't put me down, I'll be getting loud.